Hey everyone, welcome back to official MM2H Resources, where we dive into all things related to the Malaysia My Second Home MM2H program. Let's get into it. A dream deferred the shocking reality of Malaysia's MM2H program. Malaysia, with its beautiful beaches and vibrant culture, has long been a dream destination for expats, the Malaysia. My second home MM2H program, particularly the Silver Tier, aimed to make this dream a reality for many. However, a shocking statistic reveals the program's shortcomings. While thousands apply each year, only a tiny fraction are actually granted visas. This discrepancy raises serious questions about the program's true intentions and its impact on hopeful applicants. The allure of a tropical paradise combined with promises of affordable living and a welcoming environment has drawn people from all walks of life to the MM2H program. Retirees envision spending their golden years amidst lush landscapes while families seek better educational opportunities and a safer environment for their children. The program's initial success stories only fueled the dreams of those seeking a fresh start in a new land. However, the reality for many has been far from the idyllic picture painted by the program's marketing materials. Paradise found understanding the allure of the Silver Tier MM2H. The Silver Tier MM2H program was designed to attract individuals and families who wish to make Malaysia their second home, contributing to the country's economy and cultural landscape. The program offered a five-year uh, renewable visa, uh, tax incentives, and the opportunity to purchase property. All of this was packaged with the promise of a lower cost of living compared to Western countries. This combination of factors proved uh, irresistible to many, leading to a surge in applications from around the globe. The program's initial requirements seemed achievable for many middle-class individuals and families. Applicants needed to demonstrate a certain level of income or savings along with a clean criminal record. The process seemed straightforward, further bolstering the belief that Malaysia was truly opening its doors to the world. Little did many applicants know the path to their Malaysian dream was uh, about to become much more complicated. Unmasking the illusion, hidden costs, and unrealistic expectations, while the allure of the MM2H program was strong, the reality on the ground began to unravel for many applicants. One of the first hurdles was the constantly shifting requirements. The Malaysian government, without warning, implemented stricter financial criteria, significantly raising the bar for income and asset thresholds. This left many applicants who had already invested time and money in the process in a state of limbo. Beyond the financial hurdles, applicants encountered a labyrinthine bureaucracy. Long processing times, unclear communication, and inconsistent application of rules became the norm. What was initially presented as a streamlined process turned into a frustrating and often disheartening ordeal. The dream of a simple life in paradise was quickly fading as applicants grappled with the complexities of the program's implementation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. Your support means the world to us and helps us create more content. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or what you'd like to see next. Until then, take care and see you in the next video.